6000 طفل فلسطيني بمجتمع مشردم وبعشرات المخيمات وبيسز بتعطي هالمنصه لهدول الاطفال ليورجوا انه انا اي اكزيست انا ام جود انا كان بي جود ات سمثينج احنا في النرويج عندنا بطولة كأس النرويج الدولية بكرة القدم للناشئين وجايين نشارك في البطولة. I was really excited about Paces and everything that Paces has to offer. So I decided to come to Norway with the Paces team to get the sense of uh, their real initiatives to meet the Paces children and to see how they play, to see how they interact. Opportunity uh, given to us by Paces to meet uh, Paces students is, is unique. Going into the field the first day, I saw the Palestinian boys and girls in their hattas, in their jerseys. I was so proud and so happy. I had goosebumps from head to toe. مشاهدة الأطفال على أرض الملعب فاق كل التوقعات اللي كانت عندي. طريقة اللعب كانت طريقة مختلفة جدا جدا. What fascinated me when I saw these kids playing on the field is that they came from three different countries. They came from Jordan. from Lebanon and from Palestine. Some of them had never met each other before. They had never played together before. But the way they played together on this team felt like they had been playing together for years. Before I met the program, I was playing in the field. There was no coach who taught us, no one 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 who taught us. I started to play with the programs. ما بصدق امتى بيجي يوم التدريب كرمال اروح واكسب عن جد فكنت صفر بالفوتبول فانتقلت 180 درجه احنا عسكرنا تقريبا مرتين ويعني اخذنا على بعض وصرنا اصدقاء تعرفنا على بعض كثير وصارت عندنا الروح الرياضيه ولعبنا مع بعض تعلمت انه الحب لفريقك وللعيب اللي معك وساعه مدربك واحترامه وتقديره هذا بيؤدي الى نجاح كبير في الفريق اللي كان على ارض الملعب كان فريق متكامل. They seemed like they were the strongest, most collaborative team, and that just goes back to showing what Paces is all about and how deeply ingrained all the values that Paces believes in are in those Palestinian kids as they play. They have surpassed so many obstacles to be here and not only doing their best but surpassing other teams that are more privileged and that have gotten a better chance. I went to the distance of 5 kilos and 6 kilos but I went to the training. We went to the training and we went to the training. These kids have not gotten these chances yet they are here, they are winning, they are playing and the passion is at a thousand percent. It was very clear that in every step they were playing. إنه ما كانت فقط مجرد عن الرياضة هي كانت مبادرة إثبات نفس وإثبات ذات وهاي السنة بيثبت على إنه وصولها من النهائيات آه لما تحكي أنت على النورويج كاب ويوصلوا بالأخير للنهائي أكيد آه هذا إنجاز وفاق كل التوقعات الموجودة عندي I am proud to call myself a Palestinian by just watching these kids represent Palestinians in such a beautiful manner. And you see this in the games that happened all throughout. The Palestinian children had the nicest spirit, you know. They helped other kids off the field when they were injured. They were uh, hugging them when the other team was losing. And they were being so compassionate to the other team that was losing because this is what Paces was teaching them, you know. Seeing their discipline, seeing how they work together as a team, how they interact together, how they support each other. Their play is incredible, but their spirit is even better. This is what we are doing on the field. This is what we are working on from the beginning and the beginning. It is a way to change the rules and the culture and the education. It is a difficult time, but there is something in my heart that I want to be a unique person in this group. ونسند بعض ونوصل لإشي بدنا إياه وكل كان حابب إنه نوصل الحمد لله وصلنا الواحد ما يستسلم لو شو ما صار يخلي عنده الثقة يخلي عنده إصرار وعزيمة إنه اللي بده إياه رح يصير وصلنا من تعب مع الفريق وجهد وتواصل وتعاون وصلنا للنهاية كنت فرحان كثير إنه وصلنا لهيك ورفعنا اسم بلدنا فلسطين أثبتنا إنه نحن قادرين كأطفال فلسطينيين نوصل لأعلى المراتب 
هذا الشيء انا بتوقع لازم نعززه ونزرعه بقلوب وعقول اطفالنا انه نحن قادرين نوصل على اي مطرح اذا امنا بقدراتنا I think it's it's such a beautiful way to raise awareness is through going on hikes or going on on trips that remind you that everyone is equal. It's a good reminder not to take things for granted and it's a good reminder that sports brings people together. I mean when you go to the core of everyone we're all the same. طبعا غير التعب والوجع اللي الواحد بيمر فيه على مدار الثلاث ايام الماضيه الأكثر إشي ممكن يرجع فيه اللي هو العلاقات اللي تنشأ بين المتشاركين. Although we come from all walks of life, have one thing in common, which is that we believe in supporting Palestine and supporting its people and supporting its youth, and that brought us together very strongly. It's so much easier to hike with a group of people because you have that support. تعاملوا مع الواحد كأنه بيعرفوه من زمان. تقريبا ولا حدا كان يعرف الثاني بس انه ثلاث ايام صرنا كلنا على وحده Coming here with the kids is really extremely important because we expose them to so much, allowing them to learn from different cultures. These kids are coming from refugee camps, and refugee camps are almost makeshift cities. And seeing these kids coming all the way to Norway and having them interact with people from different cultures and being so graceful in the way they deal with other children is just beautiful to witness. <laughs> بسبب حب الاخرين الي وصرت اتعامل مع العالم على طبيعتي علمت لنا اخلاق الرياضيه العاليه اخلاقك اهم من نتيجه المباراه لما تكون اخلاقك عاليه بالملعب الكل بحبك بالملعب كيف ما كانت نتيجتك الكل بحبك ربحان او خسران مشاركتهم بالنرويج هي بتعطيهم نوع من انه يصيروا يشوفوا العالم من منظور ثاني فهذا الشيء بيوعيهم وبفتح مخهم اكثر انه يعملوا تغيير ايجابي في مجتمعاتهم لفت نظري اللي هي مكان جائزه نوبل للسلام انا كنت اسمع انه في شيء اسمه جائزه نوبل للسلام بس ما كنت اعرف إنه وين موقعها ما كنت أعرف إشي لإلها أكثر إشي لفت انتباهي إنه الكل هناك بمارس الرياضة كبار صغار نظامهم إنه كل شيء مواعيد محددة نظامهم دقيق وحياتهم تختلف عنك كثير يعني بتشوف حياة غاد غير وإنها غير So many Norwegian kids and international kids were there supporting the Palestinian teams because they saw Palestine in the most positive light competing, fighting, fiercely fighting on the field with so much skill, so much talent, so much sass, and really that made everyone so much more aware of what Palestine is. Finally, they saw us as peaceful, powerful people, and really that's why these trips, I think, are extremely, extremely important. Six thousand kids are going to be able to live in their lives وبشكل ممنهج وبدون اي تمييز بين هؤلاء الاطفال سواء كان ذكور او اناث اللي بتبني ثقتهم بنفسهم تفريغ الطاقه اللي عندهم لهؤلاء الاطفال ينحط في شيء بناء ذا امباكت ذي ار هافينج اون سو ماني بيبل اون سو ماني كيدز از فينومينال ريلي جاست سيينغ ذيم ان ذير مومنت اون ذا فيلدز بلاينغ interacting with them, just going up on the hike with them. It has been an experience that really showed me the value of what PACES is doing to impact personal lives of people living in, 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 in more unfortunate circumstances. بتقدم له كل الخدمات اللي بيحتاجها اكثر شيء اثر عليك انه هو اللعيب اللي معك والمدربين و... لانهم كلهم مرقوا عنك بمحطه وحطوا فيك شيء حلو مش ما راح تنسى This has been transformational in every sense of the word and honestly I have never in my life seen a group of people that is so committed 
so passionate and so eager to achieve something. And I'm really excited I got the chance to witness that and to finally see them happy, to see them smiling, laughing, and living the childhood that they really deserve to live.